You know what I, I just heard on the way over here, Jay, was all the protests. There's a lot of protests going on, obviously. People are getting arrested. And Colin Kaepernick has pledged to pay for all the attorney fees for all the people who get arrested. I bet he backs out when more and more people get arrested. Maybe. I mean, I don't know what kind of money he has now. He doesn't have a job, does he? He doesn't have a job. Hey. But Jay Z, hey. step up, bro. <laughs> Good looking, though. You know yeah, what? I think yeah. about that a lot, too, is like, if, if you know what? Well, he <gasps> lost. A, he lost a beautiful. He lost a, a, a millionaire job to do something he loved, which is the dream job, right? In the NFL, to stand up for stuff like this. And I know a lot of people that I'm very close with that are against him. I'm like, man, he just took a freaking knee. Yeah. Like, get off of him, right? And not only a knee, he took a knee when the world was looking, yeah. knowing, sacrificing his dream, like you said. What would he be to his community if he didn't do that, you know, and just took his money and, and got fat and ate? And did, he you he know. would be everyone else, Jay. Exactly. He would be everyone else. Exactly. So shout out to Colin Kaepernick. I like the dude. Oh, I love Colin. Yeah. Man. Hell yeah. And, and you know what? You see all these things on social media about him, like giving all his suits to people that need jobs in their community. Oh, or, really? Or, yeah. All, you know, giving shoes hey. to kids. All his, I mean, emptying his closets. I mean, these are probably yeah. like thousand dollar suits, you know. And just giving them to people. And actually, his uh, I don't know much about him, but I know his girlfriend's real heavy into uh, social justice. And so that's kind of what got him into it. But shout out to her and to, and yeah. to him, for sure. Well, it's probably like, uh, you know, it, it, I don't keep up with sports. I used to be into football and NFL a lot. And I started watching UFC, and I just kind of gave all the other sports up. But when I heard this Colin Kaepernick thing, I was in San Francisco. I was like, I got to check this out. And I kept going, wait, what's the problem? Wait, where's the problem? <laughs> wait, what? Wait, right. he, he took a knee? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? And then, well, he's disrespecting the flag, which disrespects the dead soldiers. And then it's like, yo, like, maybe, I don't know. Like, that's a weird other angle at it. But Major. it's also like, isn't that why people fight? Is so we could, you know, protest and exactly. s- have freedom of speech and stuff mm-hmm. like that, you know? And it goes up both ways. The PC culture on the other side, you know? Right. It's like exactly. freedom to say what you want, you know? And um, yeah, I just don't, I never got it. I never got it. Yeah, it was tough. And then NFL even came out with a rule saying that if you didn't, uh, if you kneeled, you couldn't play or you, or, yeah. or stay in the locker room or something like that. Or, I mean, it just, like, how can you do that as a league, first of all? Like, and everyone was scared to tie their cleats after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Well, my job. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, I mean, interesting take, man. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff going on right yeah. now, Jay. And unfortunately, uh, you know, and I, I, I talked about this last time. I'll talk about it again. Go to watertowerpodcast.com. Wait, what website? Watertowerpodcast. That's watertowerpodcast.com. Watertowerpodcast.com. Go to the about section and look up a show that I did with a gentleman by the name of uh, Professor Odin. His first name, uh, I don't know if he wants me to give that out, but his Professor Odin. Uh, former uh, Black Panther and uh, oh. heavy into uh, going door to door and... and you know, doing that whole movement and that whole party and getting people to vote and things like this. And, you know, he says that the one thing that he, that he took away, that I took away from that show was he says, just be active, do something, whatever it is, do something, talk to your neighbor, talk to your community, Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. go door to door, do something, just be active. doesn't matter what you do, just do something. And it was uh, pretty cool because I had Daniel on the show that time too. And he's talking about going to the, Capitol building and protesting there and I explain who Daniel is and Daniel's a buddy of mine from college and he is um, you know kind of uh, far left and in that he well not really though you know he's kind of a, a rocker and a band dude a good friend of mine but he leans towards the Antifa lifestyle you know he knows some of those communities and you know he's not a member of Antifa but he really follows that movement and so he's yeah. got an interesting perspective as a very bright individual uh, you know, following a movement that that is, you know, on an interesting teeter right now as far as what people think of them. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah. <coughs> but Antifa, it's, it's a group I wanted to join back in the day, and I also thought about joining the Proud Boys, which is funny, and both <laughs> groups I'm glad I didn't join at, uh, years later. Well, there you go. Now you know what they're both about. Well, I guess. I don't know. Do we? I do. Oh, I don't. I, well, don't. I don't know. I don't know everything, but um, from – Late night YouTube binges and Googling, <laughs> it's, uh, it, it seems like a, a, a bunch of nonsense. I feel bad for the Portland citizens, uh, no matter what race they are. They just, they're losing. Huh. Yeah, I don't know much about it. Um, but anyways, I mean, we're talking about just being active and, you know, going to the protests. And what this professor tells Daniel is, he says, uh, keep doing it. 
you know, you're doing good. Just don't stop. Keep doing it. Because that's what happens. These movements just die out. Yeah. And, you know, it's always been the case, but now it's even more so because now if they get labeled as some organization yeah. that's harmful to a community or whatever, I mean, it's just going to die out so quick. Well, and I'll quote, I think I've quoted it before, but I'll quote it again. Uh, shout out to Groucho Marx from the Marx Brothers. We know them, your old school and cinema. But uh, Groucho Marx said, uh, um, I would never be part of a club that would have me as one of their members. You know, it's, it's a great saying. It's like, even though they want me, it's not a club worth being in because I, I got my, but it's, it just, to me, that says no matter what club you, you join or start and no matter what your, your motive is there, you're going to have humans join that and it's going to get bigger and bigger. And whenever something scales that big, humans are both good and bad. There's some bad dudes that have the wrong intentions for joining something. Maybe they're just unhappy or depressed or, or angry. And those are, or maybe they're undercover. You know, those are people that you, that will always ruin a movement. And it's kind of like, how do you prevent that? It's just like government. There's always going to be human. Whenever you have a group of humans, you're going to have some bad, bad apples. Always, always. Especially if you have someone starting it, like this undercover cop, supposedly. Yeah. And, you know, but yeah, absolutely. And, and every culture, every single you know, organization, you see that all the time. And it almost reminds me of like a gang mentality, you know, especially with like, you know, governments and whites and blacks and Latinos and Asians, you know, it's just, uh, you know, there are their gangs, you know, officially what whatever gangs would consider yeah. to be, but uh, altogether, like the government's like a gang, right? And yep. you know what, actually, I mean, we may have to change topics here, Jay, but it reminds me of this uh, series that I've been watching and you've been watching, uh, the Epstein uh, documentary filthy rich filthy rich right yeah Ooh, it's so good watch filthy rich it, it is it's good I